Hello everybody, my name is Waffle Toast, and this is my review for the Funko Five Nights at Freddy's Chica action figure. And I know I say this at almost the beginning of almost every review now, and yes, it's been a it's been a long time since I've done a review. I'm just gonna film the review, and I think I'll talk about something at the end. Who knows? Depending on how long the review is. All right. First off, uh, like I did in my Bonnie review, go over the build a figure piece, spring trap leg. Not important right now, since I don't have the rest of the Build-A-Figure opened. But yes, I do have the rest of the first wave, I just haven't opened them yet. I already have Bonnie, if you haven't seen that review, go watch it if you want to. But yeah, I have the rest of the wave, I haven't opened them yet. Let's just start by going over the box. So, again, Funko, Five Nights at Freddy's, uses the Withered Freddy, even though we never got the Withered's. Uh... The Five Nights Freddy's Chica with Mr. Cupcake includes right leg for spring trap. Back is the rest of the figures and the build a figure. And that's it for the box. Now let's move on to Chica and her accessory. Oh, and there he goes. So yeah. Here is the Mr. Cupcake accessory. It is very nicely painted, I will add that. There are a few uh mishaps here and there, like I don't know if you could see it, but there is a bit of uh pink on the eye. The underneath is whatever. It has a lot of paint marks on it, but I don't really care since it's the bottom of the plate and you're never really going to see it. And that's it for her accessories. Now, one thing, uh, two things that bug me a little bit about this figure. Now, this is the 2021 re-release. I think it was 2021. The, the, it's, it's the re-release figure. Now, on my copy, the kneecaps were not blackwashed. I don't know if all of them were like that. I haven't seen many clear pictures that show the kneecaps, but mine have not had the black wash applied to them. Now, it's not a big deal because I can go back and I can do that later. My other issue are her hands. They're completely flat and she can't hold anything other than if you just rest it on her hand and that barely works. If you could balance it properly, it does work though. I'll probably add sticky tack to the bottom of this, but yeah. Those are my two major gripes. Other than that, it's a good figure. It's not bad. Now, it's not the best articulation-wise, but none of the Funko figures really are. And hey, that's a good segment in segue into the articulation. The standard Funko ball joint at a head, but since because of her bib, it can't go side to side. It can only rotate, and it barely goes back, and it barely goes forward. But yeah, it can't do a full 360. I don't know if I said that. All of the limbs are ball joints, so, you know, 360, uh, the elbow swivel, lost my train of thought there, elbow bend, which is not good, but again, none of the Funko figures really had good articulation. Other than Foxy, I will say, Foxy does have some pretty good articulation. I have opened Foxy. Uh, but, yeah, wrist swivel, can't really do the splits without the legs popping off. Which, surprisingly, these don't want to do. Wow. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, what else am I doing? Uh, go back that far. They don't, actually, they don't go back at all. They go forward that far. Knees bend. Now, she has some of the better knee articulation out of the Funko figures. Uh, but, yeah, that's it for articulation. Uh, now for comparison and size. Because, yes, I'm bringing comparisons back. Because I... I'm just stalling for time at this point. Uh, with a few, here is she, here is Chica compared with a future review, the Funko Five Nights at Freddy's Glamrock Chica. Again, future review, and my next Transformer review, which is the Legacy G2 Jazz. And then for the actual size of the figure, she is about, she is five. Oh, about four and three quarter inches tall at the top of her head. Five if you go to the top of these weird, weird feather things. And 12 centimeters to the top of the head. And just about 12 and a half centimeters to the tip of the feather thingies. So yeah. That has been my review for the Funko Five Nights at Freddy's Chica action figure. If you've watched this far you're obviously enjoying my content so consider liking subscribing commenting all that good stuff if you want to and until i upload again whenever that may be goodbye